everybody, welcome to Colchester Pet, where fish are friends! Yay! We are so excited to be here and we are talking about aquaculture this week, and mainly angels. Uh, it's been an explosion of aquacultured angels. It is so amazing, isn't it? It's like just everybody's breeding these angels. ORA just released that they have the, uh, they bred the Coral Beauty, and that's amazing. Isn't that just like the coolest thing ever? Biota has done them and has had them, but now ORA does them too in, in a, a commercial level. And you know what else they have? The Atlantic Pygmy Angel. I mean, that is amazing. Also, we have uh, True Personifier Angels. We have Multibar Angels. We have Gold Flake Angel. They're all going to homes, but we can get them anytime you want. And we have a Majestic Angel. And we have a pair of Flames, but they're our breeders that we're keeping. And we're going to start breeding them next year. That's super exciting. We have uh, clownfish babies that are seven days old that we have. I'll put up a picture or a video of that. And they're doing great. So aquaculture is like everywhere. And I used to, my phrase used to be aquaculture is the future. But you know what? Aquaculture, it's right now. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Like aquaculture is everywhere. This whole section of fish, so many varieties of aquaculture fish. And I am so excited to show you where we're gonna start on our website. I've been working on it like crazy to start shipping out fish more, uh, all these aquacultured guys. And I just really want to do this update about aquacultured angels and aquaculture is now. And guess what? They are all eating this. That's right. TDO pellets from Reef Nutrition. I can feed this to every single one of those aquacultured angels and I will show you a feeding demo soon. Uh, uh, in this video. It's so cool. TDO, if you haven't heard about it, it is this great food that Reef Nutrition has and it's what like a lot of the uh, clownfish breeders use to raise their babies. It's what we're going to use to raise our babies. We even have freshwater angelfish babies that are three weeks old eating this. It's so awesome. Their colors come out great. It's a really, really healthy food that has everything you need. I mean, these personifiers, true personifiers in the back, they're eating it. All these angels, the multibars are eating it, the gold flake angels eating it. It's amazing food. You have to get some of this for your fish. It's awesome. We will be also selling that on our website soon too. And that's just another awesome thing. So I just wanted to tell you all of this amazing aquaculture is now, all these angels. I was so excited this week that we had seven aquaculture angel varieties in stock. I just had to come on and talk about it because that is like, just blows your mind. There are so many different ones out there too and we will get as many as we can. We will get as whatever ones you want. And they're just awesome. They, they do better. And you know, like the multibars, here's an example. They are listed on like live aquaria, the wild ones as expert only. So. Who, you know, that's just like, that means that they're probably not gonna be okay when you buy them. And you know, maybe they'll eat, but they probably won't. So the fact that those are bred in captivity and that I have those in my store eating pellets, that's, that's amazing. That's an aquaculture win. That's a future of our industry win. When we can do that kind of thing. Look at what aquaculture does for that. They. They take fish that are like expert only and they rate and they get them to eat. That's all they know is a fish tank. You know, all they know. They've only been bred in tanks and the, you know, it's it's amazing. These a lot of these angels come from Valley Oakridge. And they're they're an amazing place that's been breeding, pumping out all different types of angels and they even bred like a purple tang last year or this year. Was, and uh, they're working on, they've had some regal angels, which I have a lot of people on list for that. I can't wait till they come out and they're available like next. <laughs> I, it's just, they're awesome. And the fact that this movement is going on where we're breeding all these different types of fish in captivity, but you know what? I'm a person who always wants more and asks for more. So we need more. We need more people raising fish. We need more facilities raising fish and more people buying aquaculture fish. It's catching on. This is now, this isn't the future, it's now. Aquaculture is happening right now. So everybody needs to start thinking about buying aquacultured fish or raising aquacultured fish if you can do it. 
And I don't care if it's in your basement with like a few tanks. That's how everybody starts. And if everybody does a little bit to help, think about all the fish that would be bred in captivity and happier and healthier and amazing. And we wouldn't take them from the ocean, you know, and it's just, it's so cool what's happened with like the clownfish. Hardly any of them come from the ocean now. Isn't that great? Like that's something to celebrate. They, they're awesome. My aquaculture clowns are, you could do anything with them. <laughs> I start everybody's tanks with them for the cycle. Uh, it's awesome. And my fish, my babies next door, they're eating rotifers readily and they're going at it and they're loving it. And I can't wait to start breeding other species too. But this is what we need to be doing. We need to up the ante. We need to up everything, up the game, get more people talking about aquaculture and promoting it more and making it happen because it's now. Aquaculture is now. It's not in the future, it's here. And it's exciting and it's amazing and it's wonderful. And I am just bursting with energy and excitement when I talk about this. So that's all I want to tell you. And uh, I'll talk to you next week about the update with the clownfish and everything. There's a lot of stuff going on, like big exciting stuff. And I will eventually tell everybody what's going on. But yay, aquaculture's now. Woo, woo, woo.